Hi everyone, today we're going to go over deep link routing bypasses. I have a few examples that I want to show and the first example involves a custom scheme. The way you can tell which activity a deep link is attached to is by looking at Android name. In this case, the activity is custom scheme and the only requirement is that the custom schema of deep link route is in the hyperlink. Now looking at the activity it's attached to, we can tell that once this uh, activity gets the deep link intent, it's looking for the custom schema or an HTTPS schema. When the custom schema is intercepted, it's going to change the custom schema to HTTPS. And then it's going to ask you where you want to open the intent uh, and what browser you want to use, etc. Now, let's demo this. So, what I always do, I always create a POC HTML file and push it to the device I'm using for testing. Um, and that's the command you use to do that. Now it's on my emulator, my handy dandy emulator. And I can open it with whatever browser I want. Now let's zoom in so we can see what's going on. The one we want to click is custom schema bypass. So once we click that, it's going to open the application and then it'll ask us where we want to open the modified URL that got switched to HTTPS. So we're going to use Chrome just to show the concept. And then it, so essentially it's an open redirect. And ideally you don't want to report just an open redirect because it's only a P4. You want to chain it with an authentication flow. Um, and that'll upgrade your severity by a lot. Um, especially if you get like an account takeover. Now let's move on to the next example which has to do with a host validation bypass. Now we're going to use the same method. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to see which activity is attached which is host validation bypass. We're going to see which requirements are needed. This time there's a host requirement and a schema requirement of HTTPS. Now let's look at the activity. Now looking at this activity, checking if the host is valid. So as long as I have a host of b3nac.com, it will continue to execute this code that's in the if statement. And you can see that JavaScript is enabled and the data is being loaded into the web view. So it is time to demo this. Now I'll go back to the POC HTML file and this time we'll use the host validation bypass. Open it with custom scheme. And as you can see, the XSS payload was executed. And this is why. So I have the requirement satisfied for the protocol, or the scheme, I should say. And technically, I also have the requirement, the host requirement satisfied because it's, it's reading b3nac.com. So it routes to that specific specific activity still. The other, the first um, custom schema bypass worked because the custom scheme was present. And since it was looking for the custom scheme, 
and the way it was programmed, it switched it to HTTPS and made it into a valid URL that sent the user to my website. Um, this is actually based off of a bug bounty finding I had recently where the custom scheme was probably converted into a web scheme. Um, now for the last, the last um, exercise, I'm gonna go over path patterns. Now path patterns are, are actually, I want to say the way that this path pattern is is what ideally you'd want to you'd want to hope to find because this path pattern right here where it has a period and asterisk means that any file name can be put in there. So if the file names aren't validated, then you can put an XSS payload in for the path pattern and it will still route to that specific specific activity and potentially execute the payload if JavaScript is enabled. So we'll go through the same steps we, we did for the other two examples. Um, first step is seeing which activity is used. That's essential to see the logic for that for this deep link. Next we're going to see the requirements which is the scheme of path pattern, the host of b3nac.com and the third requirement is is having a path pattern meaning that there does need to be a path but it, it can be any file name or directory directory name so now if we go to the activity we can see that it's loading the data from the intent and just checking it's only validating that the host is there now let's demo the third example. So if we click on the path pattern deep link, we get the payload executes successfully. And it's very, it shows you exactly why when it loads it to the web view, um, it loads the custom schema, the host and the XSS payloads right here as an SVG. And I'll show you real quick that it matches the deep link, matches the deep link requirement of schema, host, and this technically matches the path pattern because that is essentially this. So that concludes this video on deep link bypasses. I hope you found it useful and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Until next time, everybody.